do I really need to put that 2 watt booster on the jumper remote? Fly a couple of quads with the jumper remote, put on the 2 watt booster with the 5 dBi antenna, it is outputting the RSSI value. But this one has an XM receiver. I'm thinking the 2 watt booster definitely I went beyond. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video. What I got going on today is I'm going to check out the jumper remote here once again. Now somebody asked me, do I really need to put that 2 watt booster on the jumper remote because the jumper remote already have very good distance with that 150 milliwatt output power. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to fly a couple of quads with the jumper remote just by itself without the 2 watt booster and I'm going to put on the 2 watt booster with the 5 dBi antenna and check out the distance as well. So I'm not going to go as far as the quadcopter can and it doesn't respond anymore. I'm not going to do that. What I got here is a couple of quadcopters. This one is the King Kong FPV Egg Pro 138. Uh, this one has an XM Plus receiver in which I have updated the firmware and now it is outputting the RSSI value. So I'll be able to check out the RSSI value on my OSD. And this one does have Betaflight OSD as well. So I'm going to go to a landmark distance or if I start getting some snow from the VTX because this VTX is good. It's set on 100 milliwatts as well. So it could probably go about 300 meters, maybe about 400 meters before it starts to give me any snow, perhaps even shorter, but we'll find that out. So I'm going to landmark where I need to turn around and record or uh, check the RSSI value. So we're gonna do that with the 2 watt booster and without the 2 watt booster so we'll find out whether or not uh, the 2 watt booster does increase the distance by checking the RSSI value. I have another quadcopter here as well but this one has an XM receiver which I also updated the firmware to display or output the RSSI value. So we're going to test out two different receivers at the same time. This is the Helifar Turtles 135. Very, very cool quadcopter. And we're going to test it out on this quadcopter as well. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, here we go with the FPV Egg Pro 138. And this is the flight with the jumper remote all by itself with the provided small stick antenna. So let's go ahead and check it out and test how far this baby can go. Okay, there I am. Sitting a little bit away from the car, but I'm sitting. I'm not going to be standing, so let's go on this way. And let's check out the RSSI value. I'm going to go up in altitude a little bit. So our video breakup is to a minimal. And check it out, guys. We still got good video quality from this King Kong FPV egg. Not bad. And look at that. RSSI at 70, mid 70s, and we're still going. Very nice. And we are starting to see some snow. And we are still in the mid 70s. And I still have control. There's a couple of people there and static starts to appear. So I'm going to turn around and we are right beyond that bifurcation of that road. So let's go ahead and head back. And our RSSI value was seven in the mid 70s. So let me go back and record that RSSI value one more time. So it was right around here. We are right around 70. 273 I've seen so let's go on back Woohoo! some static appearing and we are pretty dang far guys oh wow okay let me make a little right turn so we are more line of sight with the VTX there we go not bad without the 2 watt booster 
So that is pretty amazing. I would say that should be about good. Wow. I would have to say about at least 600 meters. That is damn good. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it in for a landing. And I'm using a 850 milliamp 3S battery, which should give us about, oh good, five to six minutes of flight time. So let me go ahead and land it. Woohoo! All right, here we go on our second run. This time around, we got the two watt booster attached to the jumper remote. So let's go and check it out. All right, taking off once again. I'm on the same spot sitting. So let's head on over to the other side. Go up in altitude a little bit. Okay, let me get my finger on the trigger better. Okay, there's that bifurcation that we went to. So let's head on over there. Check out the RSSI, guys. It hasn't even dropped below 90. I'm thinking the 2 watt booster definitely helps. Oh, it just dropped below 90. And it's staying above 80, though check it out oh yeah oh wow I'm able to go a little bit further this time and look at that it did not even drop below 80 oh slightly below 80 to 70 but uh, jumped right back up to 80 yes the 2 watt booster indeed helps out just by looking at the RSSI value I think we can just about conclude our test right here and right now because that was pretty dang far with the jumper remote and the 2 watt booster. So guys, get yourself this jumper remote. Right now it is on a flash sale I believe for $69 and I've been fooling around with this jumper remote for a long time already. and. I am very fond of it. I really enjoy flying with it and I really like the distance that it provides and the capability of it attaching itself to just about anything out there and you can fly just about anything out there. So check this out. I'm going the opposite direction and RSSI value at 90s. Oh my god. We are just cruising 80 something right now and there goes my friend he was flying a fixed wing over here earlier today that's his spot right there he's got a nice little runway and everything yeah he brings his garden tools and sweeps up the place so he can land and take off very smoothly which is pretty cool all right so i'm gonna go ahead and bring it in for a landing like I was saying, I've been fooling around with this jumper remote for a while. And this uh, version 1 of this jumper remote is just awesome. It fits in my hands a lot better than the version 2, the yellow one that I've tested and done a review on. And I'm fond of that one as well. That one has great distance. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's just fantastic. And I love the gimbals because it is so smooth. But, uh, you know, that one comes with the oled screen and out in the sun during the day daylight hours man you are not able to see that screen at all out here in the field and this version one with the lcd screen you are able to see it a lot better so we're just cruising just a smooth flyer this one all right so gonna go and land it so I would suggest you guys get the this one here, the black jumper, the version 1, because it is just awesome. It does everything that the jumper version 2 plus with the Hall sensor gimbal does. But, ooh, battery is running dry. All right, came in for a landing, 
and the beeper is just going off. I wasn't even paying attention to the battery level. There you go, our flight with the two watt booster on the jumper remote with the FPV Egg Pro 138. All right, guys, here we go with our Turtles 135, the Helifar Turtles 135, and this is the run without the two watt booster on the jumper remote. So let's check it out. Same spot, I'm still sitting. So let's head on over to the bifurcation. Already, as you can see, the RSSI value has dropped dramatically down to the 60s. And maybe because this one is a XM receiver instead of the XM Plus, but it's holding steady at 60. And I still got control. And it is not dropping beyond that. So, which is good. Okay, I still got control towards the bifurcation. It has dropped down to 50 something now. All right, reaching over to the bifurcation and beyond the bifurcation. And I'm going to turn around right around here. Okay, right at this crossing and marking it as low 50s and let's head on back not bad for xm receiver eh you can still go this far and still got control with the jumper remote without the two watt booster so that is just amazing to me i mean with the tyrannus by the time i get to about oh good 200 meters i'm already thinking I'm going to be dropping so this is just fantastic look at that okay gaining our RSSI values back but it's just staying at 60 for some reason look at that even drop down below 60 it should start coming up don't you think come on okay came back up to 70 how close do I need to get it to go up to 80s and the 90s there you go gotta get very close so the xm receiver and the xm plus receiver does make a big difference look at that okay so we went to the bifurcation and beyond to that other crossing with the halifar turtles 135 xm receiver and the RSSI value was right around the low 50s. So here we are back at the launch area. Let's go ahead and put that 2 watt booster and check it out some more. All right, here we go with our second flight with the Helifar Turtles 135. And this time we have the 2 watt booster attached to the jumper. So let's check it out. The RSSI is at 90, low 90s. Let's go and check it out. All right there i am and we still got good battery power same battery another 850 milliwatt 3s and check it out our rssi value is greater than without the two watt booster it was at 60 we are at 70s so right off the bat it is making a little bit of difference and now it has dropped to high 60s going to the mid 60s and we are traversing towards the bifurcation there and we are still above 60 tiny bit of snow this thing's got a pretty good vtx and check it out guys i went beyond that crossing and we are above 50 and turning around we are high 50s and low 60s so yes once again proving that the two watt booster does help out a lot there you go guys the conclusion of this test yes the jumper remote has remarkable distance even without any help in the antenna section i was using the stick antenna that it came with i believe those are like what 2 dbi or something like that 
anyways it gave us a decent distance wow i'm just amazed you don't even need the two watt booster if you're just gonna cruise around in the park and go beyond the park you know uh yesterday i was flying around just to see and test it out in the neighborhood and i was flying something like almost 10 houses away from me and i still had rssi of over 70 so that was just amazing and that was without the booster so that was just amazing all right so let's go ahead and bring it in so that is just about it for this test you guys i don't even have to do a final word or segment for this video you can see it for yourself and there you go the results are just fantastic even without the two watt booster but the two watt booster does help out a lot very impressive two little micro quadcopters but the helifar turtles 135 has very good video feed all the way towards the end of the bifurcation and beyond to the crossing and almost towards the houses so just awesome awesome quadcopter i would say yep but the main story is the jumper remote the version one guys i would go for the version one i'll put a link down below it is on flash sale so get yourself one 69 bucks the prices have been going up on this jumper remote but right now you can get it for just 69 bucks which was just about the introductory price the introductory price was at 67 dollars so very close to it so get yourself one and perhaps you might want to go ahead and pick up that two watt booster as well and maybe one of these helify turtles 135 yeah use the links down below helps out the channel all right we are down thank you so much for tuning in and watching that is the conclusion of my test we will see you again next time have a great memorial day